What's up guys? In this video we are going to examine whether or not you are making your like health and fitness journey a lot more complicated than it needs to be. And if you are, which you probably are, especially if you're starting out, um, how to simplify it so that you can get really good results without having to like micromanage every single little thing and like agonize over every single detail. Okay, I'm gonna give you some very big, broad concepts that if you apply these concepts, it's gonna be very easy for you to like get in shape and just kind of take all of the mental energy that you're putting maybe towards like counting calories and like, can I eat this? Can I eat that? And what kind of workout should I do? Like, you can kind of put all of that to the side and just fill your mind with a few concepts and just make room, you know, to focus on uh, stuff that's more important. Like, I don't know, whatever you think is important other than like counting your calories. Anyway, so if you want to see that, here we go. Now, before we get into that, if you guys like videos that are a little bit non-mainstream, maybe a little bit uh, out of the box, or it causes you to think outside the box, subscribe to my channel. I try to put out videos as often as I can um, about this type of thing, okay? So if you also wanna see videos about digital marketing, go subscribe to my other channel. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. Okay, so what am I talking about here? Well, basically, I, you know, sadly use the internet quite a bit and I'm in a lot of fitness groups because I try to promote my videos. And I see that a lot of people are like really overcomplicating this whole like health and fitness thing to the point where like, <clears throat> you know, I understand why like you'll see in, in Snake Diet Guy's videos, uh, he's like just yelling at people. He's like, this shit is not complicated. Stop asking me questions. And you know, that's his like communication style to be like to yell at people. But that sentiment is very, I can relate to that sentiment a lot. Okay, because people are just like, they're making things overly complicated when they don't need to be, right? Like, oh, can I eat this? Will this break my fast? Will that break my fast? Um, will this kick me out of ketosis? Uh, can I do this exercise? Like, should I do cardio? Should I do weight training? Stop making it so complicated, all right? It really doesn't have to be that hard, okay? It comes down to maybe three or four concepts where if you're able to like internalize these concepts, break them down into little tiny sound bites, uh, you can like make your whole fitness journey thing like take up a lot more space in your memory so that you can focus on like other areas of your life. Because like, you know, I say a lot about like how I, like I don't even really care about fitness. Like, I mean, I do, it's important to me, but I don't, I don't think about it a lot like in my day to day, right? Like I don't, it's not, it doesn't like, I'm not like thinking about it all the time, like, oh, should I, you know, do this, should I do that? Like, it's just integrated, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't agonize over everything. I have a couple broad concepts that allow me, you know, to think about other things, basically, is the best way that I can put it, okay? So, what are these concepts? What am I talking about? It's very simple. It comes down to a few things. Thing number one, um, work out, okay? Like, join a gym go to the gym, take the weights, lift them, put them down, lift them again, put them down again, and then lift them again, okay, so on and so forth for an hour, let's just say, all right, or just do something. Um, yeah, like, just go work out, you know, like, it's crazy, like, I get people commenting on my videos, and they're like, hey, like, I'm 90 pounds overweight, like, should I start going to the gym now? Or should I start going to the gym in you know six months when I lose some weight? It's like, what? No, go to the gym now, you know? And you don't have to go to the gym. Go join a boxing gym. Go play basketball. I don't know. Gym is easy, you know, you've got like so like when you when you build, you know, your your resting metabolism will be higher when you have more muscle. Okay? So if you have more muscle, which you can build through weight training. Uh, you will increase your metabolism even when you're not when you're like sitting at home on your computer or whatever right so like go to the gym go you should be working out every day okay fuck this like you need a rest day you know okay fine occasionally you might need a day to just like chill when you're like totally gassed you can't do anything but you'd be surprised how hard you can push yourself if you just it's all mental I guess is what I'm saying right like don't I feel like people these days are they're so coddled they're so like, 
sensitive and delicate that they're afraid to like actually push themselves. Which is why you see a lot of like ex-military guys who are very successful, very fit, and very like they seem like super people just because they pushed they they've been pushed, I guess, not that they pushed themselves because in the army I guess other people push you. Um, and so they're just used to that, right? So long story short, go to the gym, go work out, go run, like go do something. Like, why are you even asking? That's like, is that is that still a question? Like, should you work out? Of course you should work out. Yeah. Anyway, thing number two, or I guess 1.5, is do some cardio. Like, if you're really fat and overweight, like maybe don't go running because that's hard on your joints. Um, don't do like burpees or something like that. But like, get on the bike. Do the bike for an hour or whatever, but don't not do weights. Like also do weights. Doing the weights is going to help you lose weight faster than doing the cardio. Okay, I'm not even going to explain that. That's true. Just do it, right? I don't want to get into the whole like, is it true or is it not true? It's true. Take my word for it and just do it. Okay. Um, anybody and like, all right, fine. I'll give you an example. Look at a marathon runner who only does cardio. They do like sick, ridiculous amounts of cardio. They're skinny, they look like shit, all right? And take a gym bro who like only lifts weights, he's probably gonna look a lot better uh, than the marathon runner, all right? So that's that. Number two, eat healthy foods once a day, okay? Only eat once a day, only eat healthy foods. And by healthy foods, I mean natural foods that grow out of the ground or come from an animal, all right? Um, now, like, obviously, this is like a no-brainer. Like, why am I even making a video about this? Like, did it come from an animal? Did it come from a tree? Or did it come from a plant? Yes? Okay, you can eat it. No? Don't eat it, right? This is it. This is, this is the magic formula right here for like eating healthy. Now, okay, if you wanna like nitpick and like get into the details, like, oh, how many plants did you eat? How much meat did you eat? Eat a lot of meat. Okay, eat, well, see, I don't even want to tell people to eat meat because then they'll go eat hamburgers with the bun and shit and they'll think that they're being healthy. No, like when I say eat meat, I mean eat only the meat. And I don't mean sausage, because sausage is mixed with nitrates, it's mixed with salt, it's mixed with preservatives. And if you look at the ingredients on a sausage, for example, it's only like 50% meat and the rest is just like filler. Okay, meat is meat, right? Like if you, if you couldn't uh, create it on your own, Without any equipment, then don't eat it. Love this Vietnam honking. They love their horns here. Um, yeah, eat meat, eat vegetables, eat fruits, eat beans, eat rice. Like, just, I know, like, okay, well, you said eat rice. Oh my God, that has carbs. Just like, just eat natural foods. I promise you, for most of you, eating, like, making the switch to eating natural foods is going to, like, vastly improve your health. Like, even me, for example, right? Like, <clears throat> I'll go, I'll eat dinner, and then afterwards I'll be hungry and I'll like wanna go eat a snack. When I go to the convenience stores here, the supermarkets, 95% of the food is not natural food. 95% of the food is like processed chips, cookies, chocolate, it's like not, it's not real food. It has no nutritional value. And it wasn't until I started eating like this that I realized that like, if I want to go snack, I can't really eat anything if I'm committed to eating natural foods. It's kind of shocking, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so, and also I'll just give a quick mention to the Weston A. Price Foundation. Um, and I should make a video, a separate video about this, but like, if you want to know what foods to eat and not eat, they're a good place to start. Um, I'll make another video about that, but just Weston A. Price Foundation, Google that, okay? So that's concept number two, eat natural foods. Concept number three is like fasting. Like, okay, I, I said this before, but eat one meal a day, right? If you just eat one meal a day at night, one meal a day at night before you go to bed, yes, eating at night, I know it's supposed to be bad, it's not bad, eat one meal a day at night. Okay, when you, when you do not eat the entire day, your body has time to digest all of the food that you ate before and to like, you know, if you're not putting any new food in your body, it has time to burn excess fat stores. And when you eat at night, that large meal that you're inevitably going to have is going to spike your insulin, which means that you're going to feel tired um, and you're gonna be able to sleep better, uh, you know, sleep through the entire night without waking up 
you know, you're gonna get a good night's sleep, basically. So the ideal situation looks like this, right? You go all day without fast, without eating, right? You work, you do your like whatever activities, things you need to do during the day. At night, you go to the gym around like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. You work out for like an hour or so. And this is like the bare minimum, all right? You work out for like an hour or so at night. And then at night, after you, after you work out, you eat your big meal and then you go to sleep, all right? Once you eat that meal, everything that you do after that is like time to rest, time to recover. That's when it's okay to like watch some TV, or play with your kids, play video games, or like whatever you wanna do. Because your insulin is going to be up through the roof, you're going to be tired, and you're not going to want to do anything else. Nor should you, right? It's time to rest after you eat a big meal. Okay? So what do we have? We have working out, we have cardio, we have fasting. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it doesn't need to be that difficult. Like, work out, eat, eat natural foods, and eat once a day. And I guess if you're like really overweight, you're like obese or something, you can do some two to three day fasts. Um, and you should, you know, I guess you can get by doing OMAD, but like the problem with OMAD is that like it's much easier to cheat, right? Because when you only eat that one meal, you're very tempted to like overeat a lot more than you should. And it's very easy to like to go from eating your one healthy meal, maybe an hour passes, two hours pass, you're like, oh, I'm kind of hungry again. I'm going to go get some ice cream. Or I'm going to go get something else, whatever. All right, so those are like the broad concepts of what you need to do to be healthy, right? Eat foods that existed 5,000 years ago. Um, exercise an hour a day. Why am I even telling you this? Uh, and what was the other one? Yeah, eat once a day at night. Done. Video over. Like, never watch another fitness video ever. Um, cool. So, if you guys enjoyed that video, um, click subscribe. If you want to see more, yeah, subscribe, I guess. Um, like, if you have any questions, comment watch my digital marketing channel as well and that's it peace